Good evening. Good evening, Mister. How are you? I'm fine. Nothing doing. What is it, Eduardo? Hello, Carrie. Hi, how are you? Fine, how are you? I'm good. Thank God it's Friday. Yes. Yeah. Did you work today? Hmm? Yeah. Did you work today? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I just came like 10 minutes. I just really? got home. Yeah, 10 minutes. My yeah. goodness. All right. Did you go shopping um, anywhere? No, I was working. <laughs> mm hmm. And how was the traffic? I don't, I don't, when, well, I don't get any traffic right now. Okay. In, in which area were you driving in? What part of San Salvador? From Santa Elena. Okay. To my home. Okay. All but right. it was raining in the middle of the, of the way. Right, right. Yes, it was raining. Yeah, I'm here again in the office because, you know, yesterday and today has been really busy. And I was working like about 5.40, 5.45, and suddenly the rain came. So a little bit unusual. Yeah, because it wasn't cloudy. It was a, it was a sunny day. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And especially we're almost in December, you know, like we're not supposed to be getting any rain anymore. Uh, but I heard that it's going to be raining until January for the Niña. Really? Like yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, La Niña, that's what she does. She brings extra rain. Yeah, so it's going to be raining oh. until January. Oh my goodness. Definitely goodness. That is going to be, we are going, the people that have coffee are going to have big, big troubles. Yeah, yeah. Because the coffee is going to fall, fall down. And now with the prices of the coffee, my, I don't know what the, what the, the people that have coffee, what they are going to do. Imagine yeah, yeah. the rainy season came and the yeah. coffee don't, does come anything. Right. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. What is good for some people, you know, is bad for others. So, yeah. Anyways. So, thank you for being here today, tonight, November 27, 2020. Thank you for being here on a Friday for making this space. I appreciate your attendance. So, um, do you remember the topics we spoke about yesterday? Mm -hmm. Thing that we used to do? Yes. Things you have changed. And we have changed. Mm -hmm. Right. And when you talk about the things you have changed, many times you will have to apply used to. You know, when I was a kid, I used to live um, downtown San Salvador. Now I live in Lourdes. So that's a change that I have made, you know. So you say used to. What is the other form to say used to? Um, what is the model we used to talk about actions that we did in the past, but we don't do anymore? Or things that we didn't do in the past, but now we do? Do you remember would? Okay. Mm -hmm. So I can give you the same example and says, oh, when I was a little kid, I would live downtown San Salvador. I would live downtown San Salvador, right? Okay, um, any questions or comments about uh, what we did yesterday? No for me. Okay, so let's begin. Um, it's Friday, you know, like Black Friday, people go shopping and everything. And maybe you have plans for this weekend. So I will give you a few minutes 
for you to work in pairs, practice your fluency, your accuracy, and talk about if you have uh, any plans in mind for this uh, weekend. weekend, exactly. So let me... Uh, All right. Okay, so here we go. Talk about your weekend. What plans do you have? Use the future continuous, the future perfect, going to ing. Guillermo. Hello. Hi, Herbert. Hello, Janita. Hello, Herbert. Hi. How was your day? Hello, teacher. Were you? Hi, it was great because it, it can. What? Did you work today? Was it busy? Yes, I worked. Yes, I worked. Yes, it was very busy because we are finished the, the month and we have to make the cierre. Yeah, the closing. Yes, the countable closing. Uh -huh. And we are working at that. Yes. Okay. But it was great because it wasn't difficult to come to Chachuapa. Today, the traffic was very, very normal. Really? Yes, yes. Yeah. I, I didn't have any problem driving. Yes, because I come uh, on Tuesday here to Chachuapa and I come at 48 p.m. On Tuesday was very, very difficult to come. Okay. What, what time did you arrive, you said? 8.30 p.m. on Tuesday. And, and today I... I, I come at 6.30 p.m. Oh, two hour difference. 
Yes. Okay. Today is work very easy. Okay, good, good. Okay, so you and Herbert will be talking about the plans that you have for this weekend. Ah, oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. We have to work after work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's very difficult. Yes. Um, yes. It's a little tiring, but I I try to 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 make progress with platform, but I think I um, go further on weekends. Yeah, right. It's like um, I was saying, we have to take advantage of weekends. So it's time off that we have on weekends too. Yes. Uh, teacher Francisco, how yes. to say avanzar? Advance. Uh, uh, advance. Advance. <laughs> so yes. easy. Yeah. Yeah, I, I we think okay. with Guillermo, uh, we advance uh, more on weekend. Right, right. That, uh, what? On weekdays. Nice, nice that you're here with us, mister. Now we are talking sure. with Arnoldo, and he has the same problem of, the, the same problem of me in the homework 1.8. Uh -huh. In the okay. number three, that we, we can fix it. Okay. We, we will take 8. a look at it later. Yes. Okay. Guillermo, you had a question? Uh, yeah, I, I was asking if we can use move on, for example, if we can say something like advance sure, or something sure, like that. Sure, sure, so sure. We can use move on, right? Yeah, yeah. So you said, uh, uh, you know, I move on faster during the week than on weekends. Sure. Okay, cool. Yep. All right. So. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Good. Yeah, the same for me, but. No, no, I already finished my, my studies. Ah, okay, you finished. What, uh, what do you study? What do, do you, did you study? I studied economy and then I got my master's degree. Okay, excellent, very good. But are you work? Uh, no, you are not working right now, T tell me. Yeah, I'm working right now. Ah, yes. Where, uh, where do you work? I work uh, at Productive Business Solutions. Uh, oh, we are good. providers uh, from Xerox, Cisco, everything of technology. Okay, excellent. Very good. Okay, I work in a sewing company. No, it's not only sewing company. It's a big company. Um, we produce the fabric the fabric to to sew the garments and it's a little difficult i work uh i am the in charge of the quality of this company and mm -hmm. it's it's nice it's it's a lot of work <laughs> katie yeah i can imagine uh, you're an engineer yes. right Bersabe? yes teacher yes yes it's necessary to be an engineer to to work in, in that area area is very complicated. It's a little complicated. It's, it's not it's it's not extremely but okay. it's it's, a, in, it's good. Industrial or or chemical? Uh, industrial. Industrial okay. Industrial, yes. My sister is chemical, chemical engineer. Chemical engineer. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, chemical engineering uh, it's a whole different story. Yeah. It's a whole yes. different story. Yes, it's, it's complicated, teacher. It's, I, I think... All the engineers, I think. <laughs> yeah, all the engineers, right. Well, well it, it depends. If you like uh, math, uh, you like... Um, I, I, I think it's, it's relative. Depends of your uh, skills. Yeah. Um, I admire my, my English teacher because for, for me it's, it's complicated the the language to 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 speak very fluently another another uh, language or your career is uh, economic is is not easy. Yeah, economy. You know, you yes. you need to like numbers a lot. 
Yeah, I see numbers all day long. But I don't work, you know, I never have had work working. Nunca trabajado. I have never worked. I have, I have never, never worked, worked. Uh, as an economist. Okay. And you say you have I, a master's degree. I have a master's degree. Uh, on, on what? Administration. Oh, okay. Good. Because good. that's the field that I've been working more at finance and administration. Okay. Good, good. Okay. All right. Let's go back to the main session. Okay. okay, teacher. See you later. See you, teacher. All right, all right. Any questions or comments about uh, what you were discussing? No. No? no. Okay. No. There will be a section. There will be a section in the platform uh, where you will see a family tree. Have you gotten to that part yet? Yeah. Okay. How well do you know your terminology with family members? I don't know. I only know, I, I know only knew my grandpa okay but before then i don't i don't know <laughs> about about uh, about them okay uh when you see the word in-laws what comes to your mind you said oh tomorrow i'm visiting my in-laws what does yeah. that mean is no your own family is uh, my sister-in-law, mi cuñada. I right. Think oh, no, what is no, the reference? Not that, that is no, your family. The uh -huh. uh -oh. Yeah, it's not your blood family. Blood family. Uh, that's yes, the word. <laughs> blood, blood family, yes. Okay, so who is the real blood family uh, when you say the in-laws? Mother, father, brother, sisters, uncles. Okay, but when you say it, I'm visiting my in-laws, they're not your blood family. Oh. Who, is, who is the blood family in this case when you say in-laws? Father-in-law, mother-in-law. Mm. No, who is the... Uh -huh. uh, so if it's not you, who's the real in-law family member of your... My husband. Your husband? Your husband or what? Or, right. My or husband wife, family. Or wife. Right, your husband's family, your wife's family, your girlfriend's family. husband family. blood family. Right, right, your husband's blood family. Okay, so when mm -hmm. you say the in-laws, you are making reference to the family of your husband or your wife, right? Mm -hmm. So what mm -hmm. do you call the brother of your wife or the brother of your husband? Brother-in-law. Brother-in-law. Brother Brother okay, right. What do you call the father of your husband or wife? Father-in-law. Father-in-law. Okay. Father-in-law. Okay. Father-in-law. Okay, father-in-law. What do you call the wife of your son? The wife of your son. Mother-in-law. Mother-in-law. Daughter-in-law. 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 Now, what do you call the wife? The, the, which one? Yeah. The husband of your wife, of your daughter. The husband of your daughter. Son-in-law. Son-in-law. Good, good. So, any family member that comes to your life after you get married, you use the terminology in-law. 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 Okay. 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 Now, what okay, do you teacher. call the husband of your mother, but he's not your father? A step father? Exactly. A step father. A step, a step father. Right. 
So step. Padre, padre, step. Now, when mm -hmm. do you apply the word step? Stepfather, stepmother, stepbrother. Uh huh. So we. Uh huh. When are involved in my family? Uh huh. When you adopted or have been adopted, maybe. Mm. Mm. Well. That could be a, a, a reason, right? When these people is part of the of my family, but we are not family in blood. Okay. Blood family. Yeah. Okay, but when does that happen? So you say when, they're my family, but they're not my blood family. When when a father or mother get, get married, 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 again, married with again, another, uh -huh. again, 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 with a second person that is not your mom, that is not your dad, right? Yeah. So this is Beatrice. Beatrice is my wife. Beatrice has two children, but I'm not the father. How are we related? It's stepson. Stepson. Or... Stepson, right, right. Yeah. Now, um, there is a, a, um, a tradition, a custom, Many families in El Salvador, they believe uh, that babies should be baptized, right? They take you to a church and, and the yep. father, he baptizes you. Now, what do you call the person that apparently should be there for you just in case you need him or her? Godfather. Or Godfather. Godfather. Exactly. Or the, or God, Godmother. Godmother. Mother. Godfather. Now, what, how is the little boy related to the to the man? I oh, know. this is Guillermo. He is my what? Godson. 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 My Godson. 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 Okay. Oh, yes. Godson. Right. So we're gonna put this word here. Godson, right? So remember, if we're talking about the real God, then we use capital letters. But in this case, it's only a name, Godson, Godmother, Godfather, and all that. Okay, mm -hmm. so let me give you an example. This is Ricardo. With Ricardo, we have the same father, but different mother. How are we related? Same father, yeah, with, yeah, with the mother. Brother. father and stepmother. No, 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 no. stepbrother. So, like half brother, half brother. Half brother. Uh huh, yeah, <laughs> half brother. Half brother. Uh, half, okay, half, like half, in Spanish, half. like in Spanish, exactly. Uh, exactly. Yeah, half. So, this is my half brother. Mm -hmm. Why half brother? Because we have the same mother with different father. Different father. Half, or different uh, mother, but the same father. We're half brothers, right? Wow. Half brothers, yes. Mm -hmm. Classes. Now, yeah. because what, is, what is the word that you use to talk about further generation? So how do you say abuelo in English? Grandfather. 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 Okay, grandfather. So grandfather means two generations Amanda. after, right? Mm -hmm. Now, what do you call yeah. the father of your grandfather? Great grandfather? Exactly. Great, Great grandfather. grandfather. Great grandfather. So for every generation that you want to go farther, you will say, uh, Great grandfather. So great if you want to, if you're saying bisabuelo, you will say my great grandfather. How do you say tatarabuelo? Oh my God. Great grandfather. Tatarabuelo, how do you say tatarabuelo? Great grandfather, too? No. Remember no. that uh, for every generation, if you want to go farther, you should write the word great for each generation. Great, great grandfather. Exactly. Great, great grandfather. Yeah. Great, great grandfather. Great, great grandfather. Exactly. So as you can see, 
um, to talk about family members, sometimes you need to use a prefix or a suffix to indicate how the person is related uh, to you. Any questions? <sighs> what do you call when you have a combination of brothers and sisters? What is the word? Siblings. 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 Yes. Siblings. Okay. Any that's, that's, that's that's when you have a combination of, of brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. Yes. Siblings. All right. Any questions about uh, terminology that we use with the uh, family members? No. Okay. No. How do you say, yo tengo parientes en Santana? I have, I relatives, have relatives in Santana. In Santana. Good. Relatives mm. is the correct word. Relatives. relatives. I have relatives in Santana, right? Mm -hmm. um, so uh, parents, parents is a, is a false cognate. You remember the word cognate? No. Um, a cognate is one word that exists in two different languages. If we compare English and Spanish, uh, when we have cognates, the meaning is usually the same. Cochetes. Grandes cachetes, este también dan ganas de morderselos igual que los del antes. Ganas de comérselos a besos, dan. ¿Para qué sí, hijo? Comerse a besos estos cachetotes, ¿ves? Okay, so. Uh... <laughs> Chicks. Someone left. <laughs> Sorry. What, what was I saying? I what was I saying? <laughs> I was talking to my, my nephew. <laughs> Yes, I was like, okay. <laughs> what, what, what was I saying? <laughs> I forgot. Cheeks. Sorry, sorry. Cheeks. It's it cheeks. It's yeah. cheeks. What was about it in cheeks? I'm saying, I don't know the word. Uh, I forgot. What was I asking you? Uh, was I asking you something? Oh, cognates. 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 Yeah, cognates. Okay, give me a second. Cognates. How do you spell? Uh, give me a second. Cog cognates. So let me explain. Yeah. Okay. When you compare English and Spanish, which are the two languages that we use, we have true cognates and we have false cognates. Any ideas between the true and the false cognates? Actually, it, uh, no. it's not no. false. What, 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 what's Huh? Well, true cognates are when the is when the they have the same uh, meaning or exactly like, meaning. exactly. So like in hospital, uh, in hospital, right, right. Yeah. Mm. So a true cognate, human, humano. So mm -hmm. the the two words Humano's. are very similar, mm -hmm. and they have the same meaning. So that's a true cognate, right? Now, what is a false cognate? Um, for example, actually. Okay, good. Or. Yeah, that, that's a good one, actually. Yeah, let me see. Actually, it's not actualmente. Yep. So people say, uh, actually, I'm living in Lourdes. Actualmente estoy viviendo en Lourdes. No, mm -hmm. that's not it. No, no. So, 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 what is the meaning of actually in English? Uh, something, yes, in fact. In yeah. fact. means the same. Okay, how do you say aclarar? To clarify. Clarify. Very good. So, we use actually to clarify. So, I say, Janita, you are from Awachapan. And then she says, no, actually, I'm from Chalchuapa. Okay. So she's clarifying the situation, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So those are uh, the differences between true cognates and false cognates. Okay? Any questions? And, and the reason why I'm telling you this is because, you know, we're talking about parents 
parientes. No, that's a false cognate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, any questions about the, the family tree? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I don't understand. Yeah. I don't understand what, what, mean, what means a, 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 a cognate. Cognate is one I word. Didn't hear you. Is one word that exists in two different languages. Yeah. We have true cognates and we have what? false cognates. Mm -hmm. Like spirit or spiritual. Exactly. Yep. And, okay. and, and when we compare English and Spanish, 60% well, well, are cognates. 60%. Mm -hmm. 60 percent yeah. really yeah yeah <laughs> yeah and why is so difficult it's so difficult, <laughs> <laughs> it's that difficult. you know <laughs> and, and that explains i don't know if you have seen cases that uh now imagine that this document is in english well it is in english no it's not in english well Imagine that it's in okay. English. Imagine. Actually, yeah. actually, it's, it's in English. Yeah, actually, it's in English. Yeah. So it's in English. So you give this to your uh, someone in your family that doesn't know any English, right? So he reads the document. There is a possibility that this person understands somehow the information in the document. Why? Because he or she will find vocabulary that we have in Spanish, you see? Uh, uh, so some people are good with reading. Said, I understand that uh, the, the information in the book, in the magazine, but I don't speak the language. And that's my mom. 60%, right? 60%. Okay, any questions or comments? No. No? No. Okay, now do you remember, um, Past models. Mm -hmm. Sure. Sure. What are, how do you say te hubieras lavado las manos? Sure. You should. You should have washed your hands. Uh -huh. You should have washed your should hands. Mm -hmm. Exactly. How do you say te pudiste haber caído? You could, you could, you, you could, could have, have down. could have uh -huh. fallen, fallen you down. You could have fallen down. down. You could have fallen down. How do you say pudiste haber ido más rápido? You could, you could have gone faster. 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 Now, gone when you say, faster. look, you could have gone faster, that means that the person went very slowly, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you said, uh, you should have washed your hands. That means that the person did not wash his hands or her hands. So when you're using past models, you are making reference to something that didn't happen or something that happened, but your expectations were different right mm -hmm. any questions about the past models how do you say you should have stayed at home you should have stayed home you should have stayed home yes should have stayed home. And the verb is always in past participle or simple? Past? Exactly. The yeah. verb past is always at is home. in past participle. Yes. Okay. Teach, teacher, I have a question. Yes, Versailles. Uh, it's not necessary to add, uh, you should have stayed at home. At the preposition at is not necessary. No, you can say you should okay. have stayed home. Okay. But stay you can say home. you should have stayed at home. Yeah. So you can okay. include it or you can omit it if you wish. Okay, it's not necessary. No, no. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, any questions? So imagine you, you speak with your best friend and he or she tells you, oh, I went to Rio Lempa yesterday, mm -hmm. uh, pero no me bañé. 
And then you tell this person, te pudiste haber bañado. How would you say that in English? Te pudiste haber bañado. You could have, you could have, you could have wet. No, it's not no, wet. It's, no, you, uh, it's not it's taking a shower. It's not taking a bath. Yes. What is it? Uh, yes, you. <laughs> How do you say traje de baño in English? Swim, 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 swimming. Okay, swim. swimming suit. Swimming pool? Swimming suit is, is a good swimming one. Suit. But what would be the equivalent? Swimming pool? No. Bathing swim. suit. Bait, bathing suit. Bathing suit. suit. Bathing suit. Oh, okay. okay. Now, how do you say, te pudiste haber bañado? You could you have... Could have, have you could have bait. You could uh, have baited. Baited. You could have baited. 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 Now remember, bait is when you're making contact with the water. Maybe you're playing. Maybe you're talking with somebody. If you're making contact with the water, you're baiting. Te está bañando. But it's different when you said, uh, "Call him back. He's taking a shower." You're using uh, soap and shampoo. Now, when you say bait, it's like you have your, your shorts, Visito. you got your shower shoes. Mayen está tosiendo. So, huh? all right. Any questions? Do you say you could? You could have baited. You could have baited, okay. Hey, you could have baited. You went to Rio Lempa and you didn't swim. You could have baited. Right? Baited. Okay, questions? So on you, Monday, we're going to be talking more in depth uh, about past models. And past yeah. models is a topic that people use every day, all the time. Every day, mm -hmm. all the time. Okay. So let's do a little bit of talking related with the reading. Let's see this here. You could have baited. You could have called me. You could have died. Okay, can you see questions? Yes. Okay. Let's see this here. So these questions are related with um with the reading activity, nine to ten p.m. Sorry, I'm still in the training. Okay. Can someone uh, put in the chat, please? Okay. I'll send it. Let me. Or if Thank you. Wish. Let me do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Noe. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. It's all right. Let me make the our last uh, pair work activity. Mm -hmm. Recreate, recreate. Number four. Number four. All right, so let's do our last speaking activity.
Yes. Um, we learn new words. Yes. And number okay. two. Number two. Do you ever think reading activities are waste of time? Not at all. I think reading is a way where you can learn many vocabulary, many new pronunciation if you are reading. And I don't think um, whatever thing you read is going to give you new knowledge. Exactly. Um, what, what do you think? I think I think it is it is not a, a, a waste of time. Be, uh, in the other side, I think is is a way to to get more more knowledge. I think reading activities are, are good are, yes. are good for us. Uh, listen, reading. Activities are a waste of time. No, not really. Actually, if we talk, if we are talking about uh, activities in class, I don't think that it's a waste of time because, uh, as we were saying bef just before, it's uh, a very good way to practice the pronunciation, which is a very important part of the of learning a new language. Mm -hmm. So yeah. let me ask you the okay. third one: okay. Do you prefer I'm reading going to things? Three. Okay. okay. Do you prefer reading things in books and magazines or reading things on the internet? Well, uh, now in this, in this, in this time. Three, do you prefer reading yes. things in book and magazines or reading things on the internet? Mm -hmm. I like reading things in books, but Sometimes also I like reading magazines mm -hmm. and also in the internet. Yes, so me, the, me, the me too. Yes, uh, I don't know if uh, the, uh, there there are there are many many interesting uh, readings on internet. For example, there is a person that I I wrote a book that is in paper, but also you can read it on internet. Okay. I mean, so what do you prefer to read it on the computer or I, to have the paper? No, I mean, I think any, on internet, any writes a, anything, but a book, not any, any person can write a book. You have to, you need to have a, a, a talent to, to, to write a book. I don't know if you uh, catch my idea. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I think the I, writers are, uh, are, are... I think you are... Uh, because... Herbert! Thank you. We are people. losing you. <laughs> Hello. Hello? Yeah, we yes. can hear you. I'm trying to... Don't worry, we understand. Uh, teacher okay. Herbert is driving. Herbert is driving right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> so he can be there just listening. Yeah. So he can concentrate yes. more on his driving. Only listening. Right. Okay. But I think. Can, can you hear me? Yes. Because you are going to get more interested about it. But if we are honest, uh, it doesn't matter the the topic. Uh, you will always learn something new. But if you are reading something that you like, is is better, I think. And what about you? Is yeah. the topic? Yes, important? I think uh, I think that's the same. The topic is is important. Um, for me, it's important because sometimes uh, it, it is a topic that I don't know. I can I can give my opinion very well, but I can learn new things, as you say. Because when it's, it's a, a topic that I don't know a lot, it's difficult to me give some opinions or give some comments. But it's, it's great listening to others that knows about the topics because we learn more new things.
Yes, um, and I agree with that. Um, number number six. What advice would you give to a student who says he she is not? For me, for example, the first page that I'm reading has to catch me because if I don't get interested in the book in the first page, I stop reading. Hmm. But mm -hmm. if I get interested, oh, I can I can stay you, you hours can and hours reading. <laughs> you can quit. Yeah, can I stop. can quit. I can stop reading. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. And and you, Herbert. Could you please repeat me the, the question? Oh, okay. Is the topic important when you do a reading activity? Well, depends of the things I'm, I'm reading. Because if something short, maybe the topic um, is something that needs to catch me but if it's a book i mean it can be a lot of topics in the in the book um but yeah yeah i think it's important because if the top related for something that you don't really care you can leave it but if, if from any side you like it you just keep reading mm. Yes, I think it's, it's uh, like in a movie. If the movie is interesting, you can stop to to watch it. But if the movie oh, yeah. is, is bored or not interesting, uh, you you including you can uh, stop to, to watch it. So, okay, um, Katie, can you read the next question? Uh, what things Number are important five. for a reading activity to be successful? Um, as we were talking about, uh, about topic, the I didn't hear well the question. What things are important for a reading activity to be successful? Mm, maybe uh, the discussion, because if you are just talking about uh, the things you get from the reading, it's okay, but if you have a, a discussion with, with someone else and you exchange ideas what, uh, uh, from what you get or maybe from other information related for that reading, I think um, it's richer for, for the people who is sharing the, the, the information about the reading. Yeah, to have a different yes. point of view, right? I'm sorry, what? To have a different uh, uh, yeah. point of view. Yeah, for example, if, if we were talking about a movie, I can say that was a good movie. I like the actors and I like the, the um, I don't know, special effects and stuff like that. And you say something different and then I say stuff different. And then we say, you know, uh, in what other movie this actor uh, made something kind of the same, but with other history, and you uh, start to exchange ideas. And, and that maybe um, help you not just to understand the thing that you're talking about, um, but other things. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's okay. 
Okay. Yes, I, I, you're, you're right. For, for example, uh, I have to, to explain the movie a close encounter of third type. It's an old movie. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, 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 a child who watched it told me, I don't like that movie, rah, 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 boring. And, 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 but the, <laughs> the movie is very, very excited, very, very uh, interesting. A, a friend of mine, a very good friend of mine, gave me uh, the book, The Chuck. La Cabaña in, in Spanish. It's uh, mm -hmm. uh, you don't know about that, that, that book, The Chuck? It's no? about horror. Uh, it's about a man. No. Uh, no, no, it's about a man that ha that uh, has a experience with God and is uh, she he sorry he he lost his daughter in an accident and he he is uh, very upset with god and he had a experience with him very good very good uh, book believe me okay and, and that sounds interesting uh, yes i i watched the the movie because uh if you want to 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 watch it uh, is in, in Netflix, but the, the okay. book is better. I'm the going book to is, search. Yes, please. Okay. But the book Who's is, the writer? Uh, let me check. I, I, I think I have, let me, let me. I have the book. Uh, is Paul Jung. Okay. Yes. I'm going to search. It's good. This, this book has the potential to do for our generation what? Wow, it's, it's that good. Okay. But if you want to, to uh, it's better the book, but if you want to, to watch the, the movie, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Num okay. Uh, let me. Number A. You. Yes. Okay. Number eight, right? Uh, yes. Are there or, some or, things or you like reading English? Okay. Are there uh, if you want, I can read. Okay, I can read. Or if you Are want there... to read, it's okay. okay. Okay, let me, let me, okay. Are there some things you like reading in English more than you do in your own language? Mm. Mm, maybe. I like reading in English, science book. Yes. M more than in Spanish. Ladies and gentlemen, any questions or comments about today? No, teacher. No. So once again, thank you very much for making the space, for making the time to be present. Um, I'll be seeing you on Monday, nine o'clock. You guys have a nice weekend. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Bye, bye. 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 See you later. Good night. See you later, later. Yes. <laughs>